Hey everybody, I'm Justin with AmericanMuscle.com and this is gonna be my detailed review, dyno test and drive of the MPT X4 SF4 Power Flash Tuner loaded with three custom MPT tunes available for your 2011 through 2014 EcoBoost powered F-150. All right guys, so the MPT X4 combination that I have here is going to be for the EcoBoost F-150 owners out there who are after more than just a preloaded or can tune and want the premium experience you can expect here from a custom tuning option. Now ultimately guys, this is gonna deliver the most power and the best drivability improvements over those canned or preloaded tunes. And it's going to allow you to get the most out of your current modifications or future additions as well, thanks to the MPT tune revision program. This thing is going to cost you a little bit more initially here guys, but by the end of this video, I think you'll find it's money well spent. Now in this video guys, I'm gonna to talk to you about why you might wanna go with a custom tuning option over those preloaded or canned tunes we already talked about. We're gonna walk you through the X4 device here itself later on, and we're even gonna hop in the truck behind me, go for a little spin around the block, and just talk about what you can expect while on the road. But first, let's break down some dyno numbers here. We're gonna to talk to you about what kind of power you can expect when using the MPT custom tuning on your own EcoBoost. Now guys, before we made any pulls using our dyno jet behind me, we did replace those big heavy aftermarket 33s in the rear with the factory wheel and tire setup, and this was just to achieve the most accurate results here with our dyno. We then established our baseline run using 87 octane. After that, we drained all that 87 octane, filled it with 93 octane, uploaded the MPT Performance 93 octane tune, and here are those results. Baseline run using our 2011 3.5 liter EcoBoost F-150 gave us 325 horsepower and 380 pound-feet of torque at the rear wheels. With the 93 octane MPT tune uploaded, the truck is now making 390 horsepower and 473 pound-feet of torque at the rear wheels. That's good for a peak horsepower gain of 65 over those baseline numbers and gains of as much as 73 horsepower and 105 pound-feet of torque throughout the curve. All right guys, well if there is ever any reason to tune your EcoBoost powered F-150, this is it, right? I mean, absolutely stupid gains everywhere throughout the power band, ton of low end torque, ton of high end power, peak and curve gains, I mean, you name it, this truck is making it. And quite frankly, it's just gonna feel like a completely different truck out on the street. The capabilities of these things with a tune alone, guys. Keep in mind, we didn't touch this thing besides the tune. There was no other modifications going on here and you're picking up just boatloads of power everywhere. So with that said, I think it's time for me to take this thing out on the street and show you guys what it's all about. That's how you do that. All right, now that we got that truck out of the way, let's talk about this damn tune, shall we? Because as we saw with those dyno numbers, absolutely incredible. And just back there, getting around this pesky truck, hammered on it at like 10, 15 miles an hour, blew the tires off a second, chirped hard going into third. So as you might be able to tell, we have the performance tune in this thing right now. We have the race transmission settings, so the tunes or the, the shifts are obviously hitting really hard, as we just saw. And uh, yeah, it's blowing the tires off this thing, which is awesome. Now, the perfect way to describe this truck before with the factory calibration and after, and as cheesy as it sounds, is Jekyll and Hyde, right? Because as we saw with those numbers, massive gains, well over 100 horsepower, over 100 pound-feet of torque throughout the curve, big peak gains as well. I mean, this, is just a completely different truck. It blows my mind the amount of power these EcoBoost trucks pick up with a tune alone. What I've noticed with the factory EcoBoost trucks and even just the, even the EcoBoost Mustangs to a certain extent, is that they fall on their face early on in the power range or in the power band. Here we go, listen to this. <laughs> this thing is the opposite of falling on its face right now. I mean, this thing is hauling the mail. There's no doubt about it. And it's just so much more fun to drive. But at the same time too, guys, we're driving along here and when I don't wanna drive like a complete jackass, I can just cruise this thing and get better gas mileage than I did before, which is awesome, right? Because usually when you add this much power, you add this much torque, you automatically think, well, there goes my mileage, right? That's not the case here. Again, MPT does a great job, even with their performance tune, of still kind of hooking up that mileage. I mean, granted, yes, you could put the economy tune on and probably gain a lot more mileage, 
and that's just because they're gonna take away all of your fun, right? They're killing your throttle response. They're gonna pull a whole bunch of boost out of the calibration. So again, if having a whole lot of fun isn't your thing, you'd rather just save money at the pump, maybe you do that instead. But for me, I've been driving this truck all week long. I haven't even thought about taking the economy tune or taking the performance tune off of this thing in favor of the economy tune because who wants to get rid of that much power? I mean, this is just so much fun. This truck is a completely, completely different animal. And I know they say that a lot sometimes, but if there was ever one true example of that, it is this. And that's also a big thing to point out too, guys. If you guys do a lot of towing, I don't know why you wouldn't want to go with this. Not only are you getting gobs more torque, but you're also getting stuff like the increased engine braking as well. So again, if you're pulling a big load, you're going downhill or something like that, and you don't want to just smoke your brakes, the engine braking is what you are looking for because it will end up saving your brakes. You're not going to overheat them. Uh, and it's a nice thing to have, and it's a nice thing that MPT kind of writes into the tune. They take that into consideration, and uh, it's, it's, again, it's just one of those things that you want on your side if you do a lot of towing. But what I really haven't talked about too much yet is the different transmission settings. And I will talk a little bit more about that back at the shop, but MPT doesn't stop with their engine cowls or their engine calibrations. They give you a ton of options, even with their trans stuff. And this is the stuff that takes a lot of time. A lot of people can just throw a bunch of boost at a truck, uh, maybe a little bit more ignition timing and make big power numbers, but to really fine tune the transmission stuff, the tables, the settings, shift points, firmness, torque reduction. I mean, there's a lot of science that goes into this stuff. And you can tell MPT has definitely done their homework. And I think this is what really is going to separate some of the MPT stuff from the more canned options because they're giving you a race option as far as trans settings, which is the most aggressive by far. It is, again, what's currently loaded onto this truck. There's a street option, which is a little bit more toned down, but you are getting about 40% more shift firmness over the factory calibration. There's what they call the chill option, which, as the name might suggest, is a little bit more chilled out. Uh, the settings aren't really as violent or as aggressive. And then there's the stock option. So guys out there that maybe don't enjoy the snappy shifts or the firm shifts and maybe like the slower, lazy shifts of the factory truck, you can still totally have that. I mean, MPT gives you the option of adding a boatload of power and torque, basically the same kind of power that we saw in our dyno, but at the same time, you can keep the factory shifts. So again, it's a nice option they give you. and. This is the kind of stuff that you're getting with the custom tune that you might not be privy to if you were to go with a can tune or a preloaded tune. You're kind of just stuck with what they give you. So now that we've pretty much annihilated all the tread on these Mickey Thompson 33s, I think it's time to go back to the shop. We'll talk to you a little bit more about the MPT tunes. I'll get a little bit more detail between the tunes and the transmission settings themselves, and then we'll go ahead and walk you through the device. And I think you'll find the SCT is going to be one of your most popular devices in the tuning aftermarket. The X4 is definitely one of the most user-friendly devices, at least in my experience, and we're going to walk you through it right now. We'll start with the gauges and data logging. Now, I think this is going to be probably the most popular feature with the X4. It's something a lot of you guys are going to use the most, I think, when having this thing in your rig. You're starting off with two pieces of data here. Now, you have your intake air temperature and your control module voltage. Now, this is only one of many layouts with the X4. We'll get into it a little bit here. We can actually go ahead and select our gauge layout. Now you have a number of different layouts to choose from with the X4. So two is what they start you off with, but you can go all the way down to eight here at one time to be displayed on the screen. We'll run down through some of them right now. Of course, starting with boost, if you had an EcoBoost, that would probably be a very useful one. Voltage, coolant temp, intake air temperature, um, you know, fuel trims, things like that. We have all kinds of stuff. Your air fuel ratio, which is a big one with the SCT. A ton of different stuff to choose from with the X4 and have it all be displayed here for you. So you can go through the menu. You can actually choose a horizontal or landscape mode and have it be displayed sideways if you prefer. Uh, personally, I like using it in the vertical mode. And I found that you can buy the suction cup mount if you want, but I actually have a holder for my iPhone. Works perfectly in there. Uh, not a bad idea for you guys. Now, if you want to actually data log this stuff, if you're, like I said, making a wide open throttle pull, if you want to review some data logs, see what the truck is doing, very, very easy to do. You're going to want to set up all the stuff you want to data log. And when it comes time to record it, all you do is simply hit that middle button there. You can see the record button flashes up. You let it go as long as you want, and you can basically stop it at any point hitting the center button again. So 
Uh, and this is something that you probably want to offload onto your computer to be reviewed by your tuner or by yourself if you're into that sort of thing. So we'll go down one to your vehicle functions. This is your diagnostic tool with the X4. This is going to be where you read and clear your diagnostic trouble codes or your check engine lights, better known as. We have no codes currently, but if you did, it would display the code in its identifier, basically, uh, starting with a P or something like that, and it would actually expand upon what it is. Uh, so if you had a misfire code, something like that, it would tell you on here. And you can actually clear the codes, too, if you wanted. Go down one, clearing your codes. Our, all of our codes are cleared, so there you go. Go down one more, this is your special vehicle functions. Uh, you can do a cam reset, which is your keep alive memory basically stored into the ECU. Basically this gets cleared every time you disconnect your battery anyway, or your crank relearn. If you happen to have a misfire code, something like that, you'd get into that. So uh, again, very useful things to have here on the X4. Go down to vehicle info, you can view your VIN here, uh, your strategy code, which is what you're going to need to look at once in a while when communicating with your tuner. Uh, ECU, all that good stuff there. Now, a nice thing about the X4, this thing has built-in wireless, so if you do need to update your firmware, which is something you need to do with tuners frequently, they oftentimes send out updates. You don't need to plug this thing in to update it. It's wireless, so as long as it hooks up into your, uh, your Wi-Fi, the X4 will download the necessary firmware updates for you automatically, and it's a very useful feature to have. So here's the display orientation I talked about. We can change the landscape if you want. So now there you see, we can turn it sideways and you can do more of a landscape setting if that's what you're into. We'll change that back to portrait real quick. Uh, light sensor, this is again, this is your light sensor. You can actually see it right here, it's built in. So it'll just dim it if you like automatically. We have that set up already on ours. So it detects automatically when it's dark out, dims it for you, it's pretty nice. Uh, power management mode, that's way it won't kill your battery. Basically, you can leave this thing plugged in at all times. You leave it on auto here, it'll basically power down after being inactive for a few minutes. If you leave it always on, it's gonna drain your battery. So just leave it on auto and you should be good to go there. This is pretty cool as well, startup. You can either have it start up anytime you plug it in or turn your truck on, it'll default to the main menu. Or what I do with when I have the X4 in my truck, I have it start automatically to the gauges because that's where you usually end up anyway. Um, so that's pretty cool, they give you that option. Uh, and then your factory reset, this is just gonna reset the gauges. All right guys, with most of the X4 pretty much gone over by now, let's get into the program vehicle operation here. Very simple stuff. Again, click on the program vehicle tab, make sure your key's in the on position, which we already have, so we're good to go there. And then it's gonna bring you to the tunes you wish to upload. Now we have some preloaded tunes on there, but we also have our MPT custom tunes. 93 octane performance tow and our PRX. So from here on out guys, you're basically just following the on-screen instructions when uploading your tune. Very, very easy stuff. Now it's gonna bring you to this screen as well. This gives you some additional options. And this is really cool because yes, even though the MPT tune is a custom tune, they still give you the options to changing your tire size, your axle ratio, things like that. So for us, for instance, we have a 35 on this thing. We're just gonna scroll down the list here, select 35 from the SCT tuner. There we go, now our speedometer and everything should be completely accurate. It also gives you the opportunity to switch up your rev limiter, speed limiter, things like that. So if you wanna lend your truck to somebody or if you wanna let your son or daughter borrow it for a little bit, you can kind of put on some nanny features for them as well. So we're pretty much good to go here. So we're gonna go ahead and hit approve. And from here on out, we're pretty much ready to rock and roll. So the tune's gonna flash. It should take you a few minutes. Very easy stuff, guys. I know I said that already, but I will say it again. One out of three wrenches on my difficulty meter in regards to overall install difficulty. I mean, you're basically just hitting a few buttons here. It should take you no longer than 15 to 20 minutes the first time, and then flashing the truck becomes a little faster after that. All right, guys, so that's my detailed review of the MPT custom tunes loaded on the SCT X4 device. Be sure to learn more about the device and the tunes right here at AmericanMuscle.com.